All right, so we got Minecraft Live, a new video. Uh, we got one more video about Pale Garden and the new Minecraft mob. Uh, it's called Creaking. Let's go to it. I'm true. We got more information about it, and then we're going to talk about it after. In a few months, the team has been really excited about the idea of adding a new biome. And we created one with its own unique mood and idea. Yo, can they put me in Minecraft or what? If they do, I want 5% of everything, literally. During day oh, this is the new spot. Quiet. This is the new spot. Why is it so it's big? Almost serene in the new pale garden. Man, it's a big garden. While you might feel calm walking around in this forest, there's also an eerie mood. Bro, it looks like we just walked into the, the 1960s. Isn't quite right. Then, when darkness falls, oh, you indeed feel another side of this place. Like the hanging moss shifts from being pretty to really spooky. And you realize that you're not alone. There's something lurking in the shadows. <laughs> so everything about this biome feels unfamiliar, and this is by design. We want you to feel a bit curious and and scared. Like, what is this place? Why is it so different from everything else? What we needed for the biome is to have like a low visibility and we've created the pale hanging moss for this. This really inhibits like how much you can see and how far you can see, but you can still walk through it. So you're traversing through the through the forest and you're like trying to find everything, but you don't know what will be behind the hanging moss. Yeah, it's it gives you kind of a strange feeling when you enter. It's unnaturally quiet and uh, a feeling of something weird's going on here okay um because everything looks so grayed out and like i really like the ambiance of the new biome it invokes really those eerie and spooky feelings yes eerie indeed hey bro see ya. <laughs> turns out there actually is something lurking in the shadows oh the creaking why are you going up to it like that? It's our first tree-like creature, and it's almost like it's camouflaging in the pale garden. What do you and mean? When it's dark at night, it's kind of hard to see it except the Oh, oh boy. Eyes. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. That, oh, that snuck up on trees, me. Which is super fun. Yeah, there's a special new block that it has a connection to. When Hit it. Hit it. When you approach the creaking, you can actually realize that it doesn't take any damage, and when you try to hit it, it points you somewhere in the canopy. That's where basically the creaking heart is. And that's what controls the mob. Huh? One of the main themes of the Pill Garden. So you can't kill it? Its inhabitants is that it's, there's a lot of contrast from the rest of the world. So when we made the creaking, we also wanted it to be feel unfamiliar and different from other mobs, which is why we made it more asymmetric to really go on this point of like being different from everything else. Wait, so you don't see it move? The creaking doesn't exist on its own. It's more of like a puppet of the new block, the creaking heart. So the creaking heart and its creaking puppet uh, really comes with a new combat uh, challenge or combat mechanic, uh, both in the way that you need to destroy the heart block to actually kill the creaking, oh. and also of course that the creaking only moves when you look away. So oh wow! Don't blink. What do you mean don't blink? I really like the sandboxiness of the creaking heart. So if I use silk touch, you obtain it, and then you can place it anywhere you want in the Minecraft world. Really? So if you want to be as evil as the creaking heart itself, you can place it and make your friends really terrified. Huh. To so like it doesn't attack the you or nothing? Quietness of Minecraft. We added ambient sounds for this biome that only plays during the night that comes from the blocks that surrounds you um, that will make an even more creepier experience for the player and to do that you need to play with the silence and the contrast of the silence oh. and the sounds so oh oh it does attack you oh it does oh 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 it's attacking you yo yo run what are you doing obviously the biggest thing would be to gather wood and twigs and stuff like that dead leaves to get rustling and creaking but i also recorded salty sticks the swedish snack i think it's swedish and one of the biggest part actually of the sound is 
my table creaking, dragging against the floor, and also a chair. I also recorded teeth. It sounds a bit like bones, uh, maybe, uh, when when the mob is walking. So it's. A what do you, What do you mean by teeth? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So we wanted to make the, the bind very gray to give this very eerie feeling, right? Um, and with these gray tones, a very fitting new wood set was going to be a white colored wood set. And mm, this okay. is something that players have wanted for a long time. Yeah, I'm super excited for the pale oak wood set, especially that in a lot of places, people paint their fences white, for, a, for example, for a white picket fence. And yeah. that will be exciting for a lot of players to actually represent themselves. And then we also have like the hanging moss, uh, and you can bone wheel it, so it's renewable. And so I think like just bringing it as well and maybe put it in a greenhouse and things hang from, from the roof. Oh like no, 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 hey, I don't want those in my house. Something. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Something completely honest like with you. Really fun to build those things look nasty. I'm not putting those yeah, in my house. It's also really unique carpet moss because it also spreads all over the sides of the block. Oh no, so, oh no. And that also looks really great. Oh no, like I just let a virus in. No. For a lot of mm -mm. Like my floor is molded. Like no, I'm not doing that one. The world. A tree that stood out was like the, the willow tree. Like, cause it's very hanging. There's a lot of like drapery and it's- That's famous, a real life tree? Uh, very eerie. Then oh, hell at, like, no. Spanish moss. This was like the inspiration for the uh, pale hanging moss that we've used in the past. That's a real eventually. life tree? Because this gives this like drapey feeling without being willow trees. And it was oh, a little no. bit more versatile and flexible to use in the biome. And could also be used as like building blocks. Oh my god, bro. See, bro, why'd they do that? Why'd they add that little... Why'd they add that in? Yeah, like, that's I'm crazy. I'm excited to see what you do with these new features and the new game drop. We want to create connections between features because the Minecraft world is an ecosystem and we really want it to feel like that. And the creaking heart and its puppet creaking, it really has a new way of creating this kind of connection. So it's going to be really fun to see you all experience. And, and you can tell she loves her and, job. Uh, it's actually coming to Snapshots, Previews and Betas very soon. So soon uh, you can all try it out. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Alright, so we got uh, some new information about uh, the creaking. Um, at first, I was confused because I was like, wait a minute, like, does this thing not attack you? Like, like, how do you kill it? Do you need, like, some type of special thing to kill it? So, no. Um, usually, like, uh, um, so basically, let me break it down just in case you guys, like, didn't understand whatever. I'm going I'm to break it down like we're in chemistry class. But, alright, alright. So, basically, with the creaking or whatever... Uh, this creature right here at first I'm thinking okay how do you even like defeat this menace right because at first like whenever like the uh, person was like attacking it I'm like yo like why is it not dying like bro like he's not taking no damage he's just disintegrating like it's just he's just he's just like little bitty pieces of him are just going away um turns out you can't just straight up just kill him like 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 you just like kill like a regular like skeleton or spider or whatever you gotta like kill his heart or whatever that's actually you gotta like find his heart that's like on one of these trees and kill it and then like he'll like disintegrate like that's just it you can't like like just straight up just kill the thing you have to find its heart on a tree kill the heart on the tree it's like an orange thing it's kind of like a, like a like a pumpkin you got to kill that and then he just disintegrates okay that's how you kill it um you cannot straight up just turn around and just kill the thing or whatever um and at first i'm thinking okay like how does this thing attack you like does it like sneak up and attack you or whatever so obviously um like the like the the mob's name is creaking so um I don't even know what the definition of creaking means, but it sounds like it means like not. <laughs> it sounds like it, it like sneaks up on you, and in reality, it does. Um, obviously, if you guys did not see uh, before, if you stare at it and you turn around and like you take your eyes off of it, the thing is gonna like creep up on you. The thing's gonna creak on you, or or something. Uh, hopefully, I'm using that word like in the right thing. If I'm not, then I just I just sound and look dumb. Um, but yeah, like that's actually pretty scary itself. I think in the video before, I I expressed I was like, yo, I kind of want Minecraft. I kind of want Mojang to like come up with like a mob that's like in your face and stuff like that. Now, learning a lot more information about this mob right here, um, I wouldn't say this mob is really in your face. The scary fact about this mob is that if you turn away for one second, GG's. You like like bro, that thing will like sneak. He'll bro, it'll keep sneaking up on you. 
uh, it will attack you until like you uh, kill its heart on the one of the trees, and um and, and to be honest with you, uh, it, it's it's a good mob. It, it's not too cracked, but at the same time, it's different because you can't you can't just straight up just kill it, and at the same time, like you know, it, it's it it looks different. I never really heard of a of a tree mob before, so that one's definitely new. But um, like overall, if I'm being completely honest with you, it, it's a good mob. It's it's good. It, it's good. It, it is different. So. Um, yeah, that's, that's what that, uh, we're talking about the actual pale garden. Now the pale garden, I don't have, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, especially like whenever it's daytime, whatever. I do think that, I do think that, that the pale garden works best at night because you have the creaking with it as well. So like the whole vibe is it's silent and you know, you only hear this thing just going around, um, you know, just, 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 just strolling around. Um, what else? I feel like the um, the Pale Garden, like in the daytime, it gives off like Andy Griffin show type of thing. Like, like the, bro, it's like the screen is just all gray. Like that, that's just, <laughs> like, bro, that's the vibe that I'm getting. And it looks like I don't know why, but I, I kind of get like a maze vibe, like from like this Pale Garden. I feel like, bro, if you listen, I feel like if like he was talking about like the, the guy before said, "Yo, phone, you gonna disrupt me for real?" Um, the guy before in the video, I forgot, I literally forgot his name. My bad, brother. He said that um that they lowered the vis they, they lowered the uh the visibility and like it's gonna be kinda like kinda hard for you to see and stuff like that. Bro, that like bro, that sounds like we're in a maze right now. Obviously, like, you know, this whole pale garden is a garden, so like, you know, it stops somewhere. Like it's not like the entire Minecraft world, but like, bro, imagine getting caught up in this, bro. I feel like you just walked in bro, you just walked into the sixties, bro. Like everything's gray. Uh everything uh bro, everything is like discombobulated, everything's gray. Um, you know, you, you just see a bunch of like, you know, just gray stuff everywhere. Like you don't even know like what's going on. So, uh, it definitely gives off like a, like a maze vibe from it. But if I'm being completely honest with you, um, I do like the creaking. I like that whole idea. Um, and it's, bro, it's so crazy because after I watched that video of like Minecraft actually like creating like the sounds for like the mobs and, you know, ran like the, like random, like, uh, objects and stuff like that, bro, knowing that it's actually one guy, like, you know, making the noises with his mouth and using different, uh, objects such as like chairs and spoons and all that just to like make these sounds um, It's really creative. So shout out to Minecraft for that one uh, Turns out this lady right here. She actually um, created the sounds for the pale garden and the creaking. So uh, that's actually pretty uh, That is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not putting this little these little gray leaves or whatever in my house um, It looks like bro like my house looks like it belongs to like the it belongs to like the three students like my bro my house would be looking dead bro is another like no shot no shot i'm putting neat like cool some people might just add it on here's the thing though like for like a halloween thing cool some people might just add it on bro but like they talking about some oh you know you could put some of the uh some of the tree stuff you know in the house and make it look all spooky and stuff that's cool and all bro but best believe i'm never putting this on my ground bro my, bro I promise you, if you walk into my house in Minecraft, bro, and you see this, bro, you'll think I'm disgusting. You'll think that my house is just, it, it just, it is it, rodent. It's just rodentville, bro. I promise you, bro. There's the bro. This would not be on my house, bro. This would not be like on my house's floor. There's no shot, bro. My bro, my floor will be molded. There's no shot. So comment down below, man. What do you guys think about Pale Garden and the creaking mob? Um, and um, make sure you guys leave the description channel if you guys are new and.